welcome 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 back to yet another fantastic adventure today guys we are in sumter south carolina we are at the o'donnell house and uh, i've played here a couple times i've had some success of course and then of course i've had some some not so good success but uh, overall this has been a great venue love playing here because they give your guy a stage love it that they give me a stage they put me on front street and so i just hope that i'm able to rock them out today so today we are tackling the ceremony the cocktail hour and we're going to tackle the uh reception of course and hopefully all goes well now this is an early day type gig but it is kind of gloomy outside uh so today we uh i think we start kind of right around lunchtime and we get finished close to dinner time and that's about it so we're going to go inside show you some new stuff we got a couple things that we're going to pull out today and uh then we're going to get all set up so that you guys can check it out another great thing about today is we are going to be trying out some different music we're going to do reggae and afro beats to this one this is what the bride and groom requested that's their favorite genre of music so that's what we're going to play today so uh should be interesting should be fun let's get going let's check out this side see you in just a second baby you know all right guys so the rain has come down a little bit but uh, this is what we're going to set up this is all the equipment and everything here so we're going to be set up and everything right here on this stage so uh, I'm thinking about putting the monogram on this wall right here. It's the only naked wall, so I may shoot it from across the room here. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so we are all set up and ready to go. Let's show you what it looks like here, right here on the stage. Real simple. Uh, we got some pipe and drape that's probably gonna go up just in case the weather doesn't permit so we can cover up my setup and uh, have the ceremony inside. But let's quickly go over what we got. So we've got two, four of the ADJ Element Hex Bars. We've got two of the QSC KW122 speakers. We got one KW181 subwoofer. We've got a QR logo there, which is pretty cool. Then I'm using two Chave Watch FX2s, one ADJ Event Table 2, and behind the board. So behind the board, we're using the iPad to run our scenes from the Airstream BMX Bridge. We're using our Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT as the mixer. We've got our Shure QLXD4 as the microphone, and we're using the Shure SCM268 mixer for the mic here. I have my Frankenstein F1 hydraulic stands with the gravity clips to hold the wires. Yeah, so we are shooting a monogram right over there on that wall with the uh, Epson Powerlight 2250U. We upgraded this one, so this is the new item that I talked about here. And we're just running a USB out of the back of it. It has the scene on it now. Because this is too big for this wall, I'm probably gonna set it up right here on the dance floor uh, to make it easier. But this is the one that um, Projectogram, where I get my monograms from, this is the one they recommended. They also, Projectogram actually has the mount cord as well. And then the pole is just a gravity stand with a heavy duty plate and it's out of the way. So I almost did not go over the ceremony, so we still got ceremony set up here, and we're just doing a PA system. So we've got a harvest back here, and right there I've got a microphone, my pipe and mic, that's going to put sound and stuff out to our crowd. And then I've got two lapels, both of them Audio Technica series, that I'm going to be running to the groom and the officiant. I've got a Behringer uh, Xenix 802 mixer. And then I've got my battery pack from Colorado Sound and Light. That's going to be giving power to both of these. And then I've got my Jackery because there's no plug out here. I'm using a Jackery battery. That's going to run to my multi-plug. I probably can just run it straight, but I forgot I was going to run everything together. Also, we are using the Maui 5 Go for our sound system and everything here. But I'm out of the way because the crowd and everything is out there. And we're over here and the musicians are right there. All right, so I'm all set up, so nothing left to it but to do it, so now we need to make sure we go. Change clothes, 
Ooh, we are set up, we are all set up and ready to go. This is the uh, Easter time stuff here today. So uh, we're gonna get right into introductions. See you guys in just a few. Here we go. Okay, DJs, let's talk for a second. Let's talk about how to vlog as a DJ. Because that, that's, the, that's the most I can do with this video. So you guys have seen me go through my normal pattern with most of these videos. So if this is your first time watching or you're trying to figure out how you can step in front of a camera and do this, this is the perfect gig to be able to do so. Now basically what you do is you just start out with a beginning story welcoming everybody to your channel because they clicked on your video and you want to give yourself some decent energy be excited about what you do but don't be fake and stuff about it then you're going to want to talk about your setup you want to say you know everything that you have links down below if you've got affiliate links if you've got a way for them to go find it or you need or if you don't have that at least list the model numbers as much as you can so that people can find the equipment that you have if they are interested in it because every dj looks at another dj and says hey i could use that piece i could use that piece so definitely tell everybody what your equipment looks like next tell them everything that you have going on that day but don't be too windy with it so you know when i sit there and say that i've got ceremony cocktail and reception everybody knows what to expect on the video now i usually cut out cocktail and i cut out ceremony because the videos run longer than, especially if you've recorded a lot of music. So definitely check, let the viewers know exactly what you have going on that day so they can know what kind of equipment and go over the equipment even if you're not gonna show it in the video. And I say that because like for ceremony, I'm gonna talk about what I'm using for ceremony. I'm gonna show you what I'm using for ceremony, but you're not gonna see it being used because I don't record ceremony. That's what I mean. The main thing that most people want to see on most of these gig logs is music, but a lot of people like to see your introductions and stuff as well. So you have to really look down in the comments and get some engagement and stuff on what your audience like. My particular audience likes for me to jump right to when it's time to do introductions and it is a confidence booster. Now I will tell you that it is tough for a lot of people to be front and center, to be able to go out to the floor and be front and center and actually do the introduction and welcoming everybody. But for some people it's not, but I give you some unique ways to be able to do it. I show you each time. Basically, you just don't look anybody directly in the eye. If you're afraid to do this, don't look people directly in the eye. Look right above them, look at the top of their head. Trust me, it works. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it works. List your techniques and everything down below. Another reason that I showed you this video is because sometimes when you think there's gonna be great dancing and you're gonna be playing some great music, that doesn't happen that way. You've got all the music and everything lined up, but then an unexpected turn happens like people are ready to go. So you play seven songs and the gig's over. That happens. When you do actually get to play some of those songs, if it's not a slide, people sit down. That happens. All of these are things that happens and you wanna show those on some of your videos because all of your gigs are not gonna be home runs. And that's what I like to show here that yeah, I love to have a good time at functions. Most of my gigs are explosive and high energy and everything like that. But I have some duds too, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that because the bride and groom at the end are still happy with the performance as long as you check with them and you're giving them exactly what you guys talked about. Because all you can do is do your job. The next thing that you wanna make sure that you give 
on these vlogs is that you want to make sure that you are highlighting some great moments and stuff in the vlog. You don't want to give moments that everybody's just kind of like, yep, well, woo, uh-huh. Yeah, you don't want those moments. You want stuff where people's jumping up and down, where people's yelling. Uh, you want to, you know, highlight those moments because those are the exciting moments as a viewer. I'm not going to want to watch your video if your video has a lot of moments where people are just standing around. It's not going to happen. You want to highlight some of your better moments and stuff in the video. Then in the end, you give a recap of things that may have happened, some nuggets that you may want to give to the next DJ or to a beginner DJ or even to some veteran DJs. You just want to give those nuggets out and stuff at the end, let them know where they can find you and you move on. That's the format. That's how you vlog and stuff as a DJ. At least that's how I come across on here. Let me know down below if you guys agree with this, this format and what you would do different. Let me know in the comments and everything down below. So I've pretty much said my piece. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, please do so. And um, turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified next time that I put out another video man got a lot of stuff coming your way hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully you found some great tips and stuff in this one that's why i wanted to leave it for you and that's why i put this one out because it happens guys it happened well i will catch you guys on the next one hope you enjoyed it and if you don't know now you know see you real soon yeah